as we continue with the concepts of lesson six. Khud. <clears throat> Khud means take. Um, it's from, it's an amr from the verb akhadaya khudu. So khud means take. It is an amr and we did not study the amr in detail but it's going to come up in lesson 14 inshallah. How do you conjugate khud? It's from, well it comes from the verb akhadaya khudu so we'll conjugate that one. Akhada. Yeah, khudu. Okay, so it will be akhadtu, akhadta. I'll just write it on the board quickly. Akhadtu. Okay, akhadta, akhadti, akhada, akhadat. Okay, um, then it's going to be akhadna. Akhadna, akhadtum, akhadtunna, akhadu, and akhadna. Ya'khudu. So if I ask you which verb that we've studied officially is just like this, same wasn't, you should say, dakhala yadkhulu. Now the, the, the mudari would be, a'khudu, a'khudu. So again, it's not a'khudu, but a'khudu. This becomes a mud because it's easy. A khudu ta khudu ta khudina ya khudu ta khudu na khudu ta khuduna ta khudna ya khuduna ya khudna. You should be able to do that. If not, you need to refer back to the to the verbs. The beginning of lesson six. The amr. And normally, when, whenever, whenever we do the Amr, we're going to learn uh, four different versions. Khud, which means take, if you're speaking to the male. Khudi, if you're speaking to a female. Khudi. Um, khudu, if you speak to a jama'a. Khudu. And khudna, if you're speaking to a female group. Okay. Uh, and they all mean take. So if you want to tell someone, take something, you want to tell them, take this pen. Khud al qalam. Take this money. Khud had al fulus, had al mal, had al nuqud. Take this money. And so on. So what's going to happen to the word after it? The thing that you're telling them to take is going to be the maf'ulun bihi. The maf'ulun bihi. So as we know, the maf'ulun bihi is mansub. So we'll see a couple examples. Okay. So you want to tell someone Khud al Mal, take the wealth. Khud al Mal. You're giving them something that's worth wealth or something that is considered wealth. Khud al Mal. Okay. Uh, notice it takes a fata. Why? It is the maf'ulun bihi. The maf'ulun bihi and it's mansub. Okay, you want to tell them take the banana, khud al banana, khud. Okay, sorry, khud al mouz, khud al mouz. Take the banana. Al mouz is the maf'ulun bihi. Um, something you need to know. Whenever there's a sukun like khud on the dal, and then as a lamb here yeah, also has a sukun al mawz al mal in the arabic language the khud is going to become it's going to become khudi the sukun becomes a kasra only in the pronunciation so you will say khud al mal khud al mawz khud al mawz okay that happens because it flows better if you speak it to a female, okay, khudi, whatever you want to say, khudi atufa, the apple, 
Rudi Tufa. Tem que deixar de. Rudi Tufa. Take the apple. So you're going to say Rudi because this, this is being stretched. Rudi. Rudi Tufa. But you will not hear this yeah because it's hidden. Rudi Tufa. Um, you can say Rudi. Rudi Kitabaki. Khudi kitabaki. Khudi, take your book. Kitabaki. And because it's the mafulun bihi, it took a fatah here. Khudi kitabaki ya Aisha. Okay? Um, if, if it is a group, a jama'ah, again, it's going to be khudu, as we explained. Khudu. Right? Khudu kutubakunna, or kutuba, kutubakum, actually. Kutuba kum. And it's taken a fatah because it is the maf'ulun bihi. Khudu kutuba kum, ya ikhwan. Take your books. Okay? Khudu kutuba kum. And if it's a group, let's say it was a group of females, khudna kutuba kunna. Kutuba kunna. Kutuba kunna. And the mafulun bihi again takes a fatah. Khudu wa khudna kutuba kunna. So that is um, how to say take something in the Arabic language. Khud. Now, there, if you want to be polite, you can say khud min fadli take, please, or khud lau samaht, if you will. But this is the amr. 